Thank you for, uh, for two very interesting uh, talks so far, and, and thanks for the introduction. As, uh, as, as Monica mentioned, I'm going to come at AI from a little bit more of a practical perspective, uh, and I'm going to sort of do my presentation uh, in two parts. So I'm going to do the first part of it, which is going to be very practical in terms of what do we do and how do our customers use our product and how do we view artificial intelligence from a commercial perspective. And then I'll end up on a note on a little bit more kind of philosophical thoughts on, on the type of uh, technology that we're building. So just very shortly on myself before I go into uh, my, my presentation. So my name is Victor, I'm from, from Denmark originally. And around four years ago, I met a professor from Stanford while I was studying there, who was developing a very particular tech, tech technology for using artificial intelligence to actually generate videos of people speaking. And when I saw this uh, video, and this research product he had done, I think what I saw was a glimpse into the future of how we're going to be creating video and uh, audio content. I'll talk much more about that in a second. But before I go into what we actually do, I think in terms of a commercial perspective, I just want to give you a little bit of background on how we view the world. If you look at online uh, today, the video economy is taking over. Most of our interactions online are mediated by, by video in some way or form. It's how most people, especially the young generation, prefer to sell, learn, communicate, and entertain themselves. For those of you here who have kids, particularly teenage kids, if you take a glimpse over their shoulder uh, once in a while, you'll realize that more or less everything that they do ties into video at one point. What we're doing is enabling anyone who can write an email or make a PowerPoint slide to create a really high quality video. The way we're doing this is we are transforming media production from something that you record with a camera or with a microphone, to something that you can program with a computer. As soon as you can program media content, um, you open up entirely new possibilities in terms of the uh, scale of which you can create content. You can create videos fully automatically, but also in terms of types of video that we watch today. If you think of it, most videos that you watch is what I think of as one to many. So everybody watches the same video. I think that not so many years from now, we'll all be watching personalized videos uh, who will know something about you. At a very simple level, it will know your name and maybe mention your name. It will know what your interests are, um, what particular uh, product you might be interested in, for example, and that will be a part of the video that you're watching. Um, so if we take this kind of into 2030, we believe that most of our currently text-based interactions, so think of things like emails and SMSs, maybe some of you use chatbots, will be replaced by video-driven experiences. And what we're doing is building a platform uh, where you can program video content at scale. This all sounds very weird and, uh, and very sci-fi, and, and it also is, uh, but I'd love to just show you an example of what this actually looks like. It's not always that this goes through perfect of Zoom, but I, I hope it will be uh, watchable, share my sound here. So when you watch this video, and I'll show you how to make a video like this um, in a few minutes, then remember that this video and voice was 100% generated by an artificial intelligence. So just play it here and hope that it goes through somewhat okay. Hi, and welcome to the i conference. I'm Anna and I am an AI presenter created by Synthesia. This video was created by simply typing in text. Today, Victor will talk you through how to scale your video production and communicate more effectively and in any language. Please meet Victor and I will check back in shortly. So I hope that went through somewhat okay. And um, before I go into uh, more about the product, just a little bit about who we are, because obviously creating videos like this using artificial intelligence is a very, very um, difficult thing to do from a technical perspective. The company was founded by myself. I come with a, uh, also with a computer science background and two professors, uh, one from Stanford, a guy called Professor Matthias Liesner, who is the original inventor of this type of technology, and Professor Ludus Agapito, who is here in London at UCL, who also has been working on these types of research problems for the last 10 years. Apart from the kind of founding team, or we're commercial people as well, uh, our CTO, Jonathan Stark, has created a big part of the technology that goes into most of the Hollywood blockbuster films that you'll see today. Think of things like the Marvel movies, Avatar, and all this kind of visual effects driven films. Uh, so we, we come from a world of both academics, but also very much of industry practitioners. And you might have seen some of the work we've been doing over the last couple of years. 
Uh, we did uh, made David Beckham speak in uh, nine different languages, for example, which was uh, quite a viral campaign. And uh, for those of you who have kids, you might even seen our AI Santa Claus, which I'll show you later, where you can create uh, Santa Claus messages to your kids, for example, by simply just typing in the message. Going back to what we're kind of solving for and why we think this technology is really important. Video is the most effective channel for most business communications, but video production is just still really costly, complex, and uh, unscalable. When you have to create a piece of video content, generally speaking, you need a camera, you need a studio, you need an actor, you need some post-production, and then you have your final piece of video. This is uh, expensive, first and foremost, but it's also very complex. You have to involve many different people with different skill sets, and it can easily take weeks or months in a corporate setting. So if we're moving into a world where video content is the most important channel to communicate with anyone, we need a more scalable solution to this. So just uh, a last note on that, why is video so important? There is uh, statistics going around on the internet in this uh, company of uh, highly esteemed academics. I will not uh, stand on, on goal for how accurate this is from a scientific perspective, but the stats going around that you remember 82% of what you watch in a video versus 10% of what you read in text. Um, even if these figures are not entirely accurate, I think that's also something we can all relate to. It's just much easier to remember something we see in a video because it stimulates more of our senses rather than something that we read in text. Um, so what we do is we create synthetic video content using artificial intelligence. With our uh, software, you can create films and videos like you want to show you before without the need for any cameras, film crews or expensive studios. This is something that our customers are using for primarily right now training and compliance and education. Um, and the way they do that is they use our online uh, video platform. What we've done here is we've taken the entire video production process and we've taught um, AI systems to emulate that process. And that means we can do it in entirely software. So on our platform, you can create a video in seconds. And that's something that would otherwise take weeks today. Just demonstrate um, just how easy it is to use. I'll just show you how to create a video. So the video you saw here before, I, I just created that 10 minutes ago. On our platform here, we can go in and I can select from a selection of different actors. All of these actors are real people. They make money for e every video that's generated with them. A little bit like stock photos, if some of you are familiar with that industry. You can also upload yourself. It takes around three to four minutes to, to create your own avatar. You simply film yourself, give us the data, and then we'll create an avatar of you that you can use on the platform. If I create a video with Anna here, like the one that I was creating before, it's quite simple. I go in here and I simply just type in my text. <clears throat> here is where a big part of the multi-language functionality comes in. So I typed in something in English here, but I can type in 50 different languages and the character will then speak that language. So if I want to type something in Danish, for example, interface will change to Danish down here. I can do different things such as uploading a background, for example, this is the AIC um, background. I can change the positioning of the actor here, make her into a little circle if we don't want her to take up the whole space. And we can do a bunch of other smaller video editing things. Once I click create video up here, it'll take around three to four minutes. And once that waiting time is over, we'll then have a video like the one that, uh, that I showed you before. But this is really how easy it is uh, to create content. The multilingual functionality uh, is, is a very important one for our customers. And a big part of what we are uh, working with is interpreters, not in real time necessarily, but obviously being able to take a message which mostly comes from uh, English as the original language and transferring it into different languages is something that, um, that AI is definitely still not great at doing. And we therefore work with lots of, of translators on, on getting here good translation. So it's not just the video, but also what she's saying that, that makes sense. <clears throat> so I'll just show you a kind of short reel on the types of videos that people are, are creating on Synthesia. Uh, we've also worked quite a lot of celebrities on PR campaigns. So the first one here you can see is David Beckham. So again, I hope I hope the video goes through somewhat okay and just play it and, and cross my fingers. <laughs> Somebody say, then you love me. Get delivery like a shit. It can create a more sustainable balancing act, charging cars when demand on the grid is low. Now that companies are resuming their operations and opening their.
Hi, Christina. David here. I wanted to personally welcome you to the DB Suite. You have a total of 15 minutes. 我了解你们中的许多人都是新员工。Conhecer sua motivação para aprender é f... Welcome to Lease Excellent and thank you for joining. What often comes to mind is a one-off transaction. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. That's a short demonstration of some of the videos that our customers are making. We'll get into that more in a second. If any of you have kids, I would highly suggest going on to synthesia.io slash Santa and you create a free uh, Santa Claus video like the one we showed in the end here. It's really quite fun and, and makes all the kids that I've shown it to so far uh, get a big smile on their face. So in terms of um, the platform and sort of working across different languages, uh, just to show you in real life how that actually works, the way uh, Our platform works is that we're not actually using AI to do any translation or doing any translation ourselves, but you can type in text in any language. What we are facing a lot, and which is obviously what a lot of, of you people here are, are experts in, is how do we translate a, a message in different languages, but um, retain the same uh, message and context. What actually comes out of our platform is what I'm going to be playing here. You'll see Anna speak in, in many different languages. And in a big company, for example, you can imagine that each single video in each language goes out to that particular uh, locality. Our video creation platform enables you to communicate in more than 34 languages at the click of a button. Con nuestra plataforma de creación de video podrás comunicarte en más de 34 idiomas con un solo clic. تتيح لك منصة إنشاء الفيديو الخاصة بنا التواصل بأكثر من 34 لغة بنقرة زر واحدة. Nossa plataforma de criação de vídeos permite que você se comunique em mais de 34 idiomas com o clique de um botão. So as you can see, she can speak a lot of different languages, and um, in the corporate world, this is uh, there's something that that is very very sought after, and something that that our customers are using a lot. Apart from creating training and onboarding videos, uh, we also have people who are creating these kind of interactive chatbots that you can interface with. I'll play this video, and it should make. Uh, make, make sense to, to most of you. Essentially what we do here is we're trying to emulate kind of a one-on-one -on -one, uh, training session with a teacher, for example. Obviously this is very far from having a teacher sit next, next to you and guide you through doing your homework, for example. But if we can replicate just 10% of that experience at basically zero cost, that is, uh, is really quite interesting. So just play this and uh, let you see. What will be the output of this code? I get your point, but remember enumerate takes a list and returns tuples. Awesome. So that's how an interactive experience of learning might look like in a year or two's time for some of the most kind of uh, frontier platforms. We're working with quite a lot of educational institutions already on how we can bring these kind of uh, interactive and multilingual uh, learning experiences to life. We're also working with uh, TV stations, media companies. Um, I won't play this one, but what you can also do with our software is create things like automated weather forecasts, where you take data that's automatically generated um, every single day at a particular hour, for example. You take that data, you make it into a text script, and you add the right backgrounds. And now you can actually have a weather forecaster that can speak every single language. And you can even create a hundred different versions of the same um, weather forecaster forecasting the weather for 100 different cities, for example. But this really just allows you to scale up the creation of video content. Um, something that's very uh, important, I think, to get across in how customers are using our product uh, is actually something that's quite uh, relevant to, because just how much can AI actually replace kind of a real camera, which is what we're most looking at. Our customers are, most of them are not using us to replace traditional video production. What they're doing is they're replacing us with text. So we're competing with text. That's kind of a pretty fundamental insight and changes your perspective on how you view these types of technologies um, quite a lot. If you think of the quality threshold of how good does a video that we generate have to be in order to be useful, if what you're comparing it with is a video that's recorded with a normal camera, for example, Um, then obviously a Synthesia video is right now at least not going to be as high quality. But if you're a big 
multinational corporation and you have blue collar workforce in 10 different, lang 10 different countries, but they speak 10 different languages, for example, and you have to train them on COVID-19 regulations and security guidelines. What do you then prefer? Do you want to send a four page PDF document that they have to sit down and read? Or do you want to send a two minute video that's generated on Tizia? And once this is the choice, it's quite easy because creating a synthetic, a, a synthetic video is maybe three dollars for them. And so an important part here is that we're not replacing that much normal video production. All of our customers are still making all the video that they did before, but a lot of the things that today is text, they are now making video content for instead. Um, I think I'll, I'll skip ahead here a little bit. And um, we work with lots of, uh, of big companies and we work on many, many different use cases. Um, it's uh, quite easy to sort of try out our technology, uh, even if you are not interested in becoming a customer, but go to our website and you can actually create a free demo for yourself. All you need to do is literally just type in um, a script. So that's a little bit about what we do um, and a little bit background kind of how the, uh, how the, uh, the product actually works. In terms of the bit more philosophical uh, questions around what we're doing here, I think the major one of will AI ever be as good as uh, humans in terms of creating content in our case, I think it's very hard to say. I think that if you look at it purely from a technical perspective, I think absolutely. In 10 years time, I think you can create a Hollywood film on your laptop without needing anything else. You don't need cameras, or actors, or anything like that. But it's gonna be a fundamentally different medium than a Hollywood film as we know it today. I think that's a really important point. I think many of these technologies, and I think uh, Marek also had a, so a lot of good talking points around this, is it's not necessarily replacing. I think it's more a matter of we're creating something new that has value in particular situations and not so much value in other situations. Um, I think just in case of timing, I'll probably leave it short here. We can uh, have some more chats in the panel, but, uh, but thanks for, for letting me present here today, Monica.